Hey guys, I have a unboxing for you again. I haven't ordered any more, so this is gonna be the last unboxing for a while. So if you wanna see what I got in this unboxing, then go ahead and keep on watching. So they're both from the Home Fun store. Um, I got, the first one I got is a 25 by 25. It's a butterfly tree and it was $5.44. I haven't opened these ones yet, so I don't know how many colors there are, so we'll find that out together. The second one is um, Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. And she is a 40 by 50. That is the biggest one I am, am going to be doing so far. This one was $14.14. I bought them both on the 30th of July. I didn't receive them until today, which is the 20th. So it took about 21 days to get to me, which isn't too bad. So I've never gotten a box before. So these both came in a box with the pretty <laughs> yellow tape. So I just cut it so that way we can get into it a little bit better. So this is what the box looks like. I know a lot of people have had um, trouble with home front store. I wanted to see for myself. I wanted to um, order it and see what happened if you know it took long shipping if which it didn't it didn't take any longer than my last one um you know where are the drills gonna be oily you know is the canvas gonna be damaged so i just wanted to see for myself um there is a little bit of a dent right here it did get pushed in um but nothing too bad so here's the front of the box so i'm just gonna open this Neither one of mine are opened. I know some people get opened ends, but both of mine are sealed. Here's everything inside of there. I'm glad that they used a foam roller around it. That's perfect. Oh, let's get everything out. Ah, baby. Oh, I got a little gift. So this little guy fell out. He says gift. He's got a little cute face. It's like a little pill. So let's see what this gift is. So the first gift I've ever gotten. Oh cool. It's a little, it's a little pen. How cute, it's got the little hole right there. A little diamond pen. That's cute. And you just fold it back up and wrap them together. Well, that's cute. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. So I've got two tool kits here. Um, I've got, so both of them have a single placer tool with a three placer on the end. I've got some tweezers. These ones look a little bit better than the other cheap tweezers, but they're definitely not like high quality. Um, I've got some baggies in there and then big old thing of wax. Both of them have big things of wax in them. So that's cool. So here are, well that got squished. Thank God that's the only thing that got squished so far. Um, that's probably where it got smashed in the box and I'd rather those get squished than the canvas. So each one's got their own inventory sheet, so I'll know what they are. So let's look at the canvas first. Like I said, they're wrapped in that foam roller and they've got nice rubber bands around them. Okay, so we'll do the small one first because that one's the easiest. So this one is the butterfly tree. And I just wanted something small and simple. They're both full pasting areas, so they're both full drilled. Um, this is what canvas looks like. Or not the canvas, sorry, the key. Those two are gonna suck. <laughs> I shouldn't actually be that bad. So let me straighten this thing out. He's pretty small. And it's not cut or anything, it's all in one.
Oh jeez. Okay, <laughs> I did that, that's my own fault. So let's take a look at this canvas here. It's in good shape. Um, I mean, the little one shouldn't get that damaged anyways. Still a little curly here. Um, it looks like it's okay clear, but as I go back, it looks better. I didn't think it needed that much detail to it. I mean, it's just butterflies on a tree. There's no like really significant detail. And this one is gonna be perfect for when I just need a small one to do. So that's what it looks like from far away. And here are the symbols. Everything looks pretty clear to me. It does smell a little bit, um, but uh, you know, it did come from China. So far I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I haven't got to the drills or anything yet, so I shouldn't speak yet. But as far as the canvas, this canvas so far anyways, it's not bad shape. It's actually in really good shape. And like I said, this one is pretty small. It's only a 25 by 25. I should have grabbed a ruler again to make sure that, to measure what actually is 25 by 25, if it's the canvas or if it's the picture. <clears throat> okay, so let me grab the drill. Okay, there was a lot of moisture in that bag. Um, the paper is pretty damp. <clears throat> and they did already mark this one off for me, but of course we're gonna go through it again. So you can see it marked it off. And uh, it, this is really nicely printed though. It's, it's very big and easy to read, I like that. And then here's a better picture of what it's supposed to look like. See, there's not a, really a lot of detail, it's just a lot of color, so I didn't think I needed it too big. So we're gonna do inventory real quick, of course, like always, I will fast forward. So I hope I have enough drills in this one. If you notice, that middle one is a lot less filled than this one here. Um, I should I only need 497 of them, so hopefully, hopefully that's enough. Okay, so all my drills are here. So I left this one out because this one is oily. So out of, let's see, 33 colors out of this one, I only had one oily drill. And I can't probably show you this, but if you wanna know, like if you wanna know how to tell they're oily, if you look at it, you're gonna see like little droplets of water in there, of oil. Um, that's how you can tell they're oily and sometimes when you open them, um, they don't move in the pan, then they're definitely oily then. Um, so let me close this up real quick. So this company does have a bad rap because they don't take care of anything. Like they don't take care of in anything, like the canvases, the drills, yada, yada. So I'm gonna be a little bit harsh on this. Um, I know some of you don't like that when I am very opinionated and harsh about things. Um, some of you get a little 
not offended, but you just don't like it. And I'm sorry for that, but I, I've got to be honest with this company. This is what I ordered it for was to see if I was going to get anything bad. So out of this first thing, um, I will say, so I had that one oily drill, um, which is fine. It's only one package, um, of it, which isn't too bad. I did have a pack, uh, a package of drills that were opened in there. So they were leaking out everywhere. And it's like they just threw it together. Like it was very wrinkly. All the things inside of there, the drill bags and stuff were wrinkly, which isn't a problem because you put them in your own container. But I'm just saying that they didn't take care to organize it like most companies do. Like you'll see them then nicely laid in the bag. These were just thrown in there. Like a lot of them are just smashed together. So um, other than that though, like it's fine. Like it shipped to me fine. That one did. The one that's the test is the big one here, so let's get into that. Um, but yeah, as far as the little one, it's fine. There's just a couple little mistakes that happen, so um, it's not too bad. So this next one here is Sally, like I said, from Nightmare Before Christmas, and I don't know if I have enough room. She, I got her big because there's a lot of detail to her. I need all this stuff out of my way. So, here she is. Like, look at all that detail. I don't know if you could see from this picture. I'll show you in the bigger one. But she has a lot of detail to her. Um, in her cup and everything. But she's super pretty. And again, she is a 40 by 50. So they did cut it down the middle, which is nice. Oh God, this is big. This is the biggest one I've done. And there's gonna be a lot of whites in that background. A lot of white. All right. So far, everything looks very well. Um, very well and, and detailed in her cup. So let me show you. So I'm pretty sure those are whites. What's the key say for those? Or pluses? 3865s. Yep, yeah, they're a white color. So, yeah, that looks really good. I'm getting everything stuck to the canvas now. There's the bottom half of it. Yeah, this looks so good. I'm glad I went with this size. Like I can see it in the camera that it looks so good. I'm so happy with this. Like I said though, it's a little big. And this canvas is in good shape. They did really well when shipping it. So I'm very happy about that. So there's her face. Look at all that. Oh my God, that looks so good. Oh, it's gonna look so good. As a child and still now as an adult, I loved Nightmare Before Christmas. So I'm super happy about this painting. It looks amazing. And I wanna show you this cup here because it has where her and Jack go out on that, right there, out up on that and walk on that and kiss, that's what that is. But isn't that, look at that guys, that is so great. Let me move you over this way so you can see it better. Look at that, it's really good detail. I think this is like Jack's head in there, something, looks like Jack's head's. That is amazing. All right, so I don't even have to open this one to know. There's drills spilt everywhere. See the pink drills? Yep, spilt everywhere. So I'll carefully open this. 
So yes, those are Jack's heads in there. Um, there's Jack's heads, there's bats, there's um, the doggy. What is his name? Sparrow? Sparky? Something like that. And then um, the moon. And then there's two things. Like one says frog breath and I can't know. I don't know what the other one says, but hopefully that comes up on the painting. That's what she looks like. So, I mean, the canvas looked really good for this because I could see everything. Again, they marked it off, but I'm going to go ahead and go through with it. So let's go ahead and get into checking this off. Okay, so I found out where they spelt out from, and it's this 917. There was a bag that was cut. I only need two bags, so that's not an issue um, that they spelt out of here. I can keep them, though, because, like I said, I have this color in my um, butterfly painting I'm doing. It's right here. So, although that one looks darker than this one. Why do they do that? Oh no, they're the same color. I just looked darker in the container. I was like, why do they do that? I've had paintings where they're the same DMC code, but one's darker than the other. So anyway, so yeah, that's where they spilled out from. But like I said, it, it's not gonna affect my painting. So it's not a big deal. Okay, so the people at the fun, Home Fun store did their job and all the, the drills were here. Um, everything was in there. So, um, I did have some oily drills. So both of these packages of the 3855s are oily. Um, I can see the moisture in both of those packages. 151 is oily. And... 153 both of those packages so out of this one there was five oily drills everything was good there like I said and I only had a couple oily drills um but there was a broken bag in there this one was put in a little bit nicely but I think if they lay them a little bit better it would just be the presentation would be better like this bag is wrinkly at the end here not a big deal but presentation is everything. This is the first time buying from Home Fun Store. And to me, it wasn't put together very well that they just threw everything together. So all in all, I would say that their shipping was great. Um, like I said, it came in a box and it protected it. They had the foam roller around it. That was great. The tools were great. Um, I love it when a company adds the multi-placer tools on there. Um, I don't need them because I have a lot of tool of uh, the... I already have the multi-placer tools, but it's nice when they add that because if I was a beginner buying this, I wouldn't need to do anything. I would have everything I needed right there. Um, and I like that they had the white boats in there with the, with the funnels. That's also very nice for a beginner. Um, the care and everything in it, like the diamonds, I'm going to do like 4.9. I'm going to knock it off because there was some oily drills in there. Um, I'm thankful that there wasn't the 310s or the um, 3865s, I do believe is what the white ones are. Um, I didn't see any moisture in there. That doesn't mean that there's not going to be when I go to pour them in the containers. That is something that you guys, as if you're first time in painting, that's something that you will find is sometimes drills are oily. And I will do a video on how I clean my oily drills. Um, it's just it's just what happens. So anyways, I don't want to scare anyone from diamond painting, um, but that is something that you should be aware of because I didn't know that. Nobody said anything about oily drills when I started. So this is something new for me. Um, and I did have oily drills in my diamond painting that I'm doing now. So I did have to wash them. 
anyways, um, so yeah, the care and everything that they do in it, it, it marks the company down because it, it looks like they don't care. They just throw everything in there instead of placing it nicely. So yeah, for this first this first time ordering from this company, I'm going to give them a 4.9. I know a lot of people don't like them, but uh, I just marked them down a little bit. And this first experience for me was really great. Am I going to order from them again? Yes. Am I going to not have a great experience next time? I could. There is always a possibility that one company does, they do really great, and the next time it's a little slack. So um, that's another thing that just happens. So anyways, guys. I will do a how I wash my drill video for you probably next week. Um, and if you want to see any other kind of videos, let me know. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.